get you guys all set up there. Hi everyone, it's Amber. Welcome to A Girl's Guide to Life. Welcome to actually what is the first episode. This is a series that I've been wanting to do for so long. Um, basically where I just talk about all the things that I think are actually really important. Like shopping. No, I'm kidding. I mean, I do think that's important. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean like the nitty gritty real life stuff about being a girl that literally no one really talks about. I wanted to go super old school YouTube style. This is just some pillows I set up on my kitchen floor and I'm wearing pajamas at 2 p.m. But you know, <laughs> whatever. I have spent literally hours trying to decide um, what I wanted the first episode to be. What was gonna be the topic? There's so many things I wanna cover, but I kept coming back to the same thing and that is self-love. We're gonna do like the 10 things that have really helped me and that I have learned and that I know about self-love. Late night conversation, kind of big sister, cool aunt, um, best friend vibes. So here we go. Do do do. Number one. We often only talk about love in the true romantic setting and you know, acknowledge it exists between friend groups, but what about the romance between you and you? Love is an action word. Self-love on its own, I guess, is a noun, but the act of self-loving is a verb. It's an action. Self-love can't exist without the action. So go act. Take action by acting like you love yourself, and you just might start to. Tip number two is something that I've learned all over the course of my life. You see me be alone in like all of my videos. I do have friends, I promise, but I do spend a lot of time alone, quite frankly, because I like really enjoy it, and I think it's a very important part of life. So tip number two is this. Spend time with yourself and get to know you. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but there's like a quiz. It's called the 36 questions, how to fall in love. The New York Times lists 36 questions you can ask someone if you want to fall in love. So basically the idea is you're supposed to like do this with someone else. And by the end of it, you um, supposedly scientifically will be in a love with them. Is that real? I have no idea, but do these questions not with a partner. Literally just do them like by yourself. If you could invite anyone in the world to dinner, who would it be? The cast of Sex and the City. What is the greatest accomplishment of your life? Honestly, having this YouTube channel. Tell your partner what you like about them. Be very honest, saying things that you might not say to someone you've just met. Um, something I really like about me is, I really like, oh my God, I really like her taste in shoes because I do have killer taste in shoes. But on a deeper level, I really like how I see the world. I'm a dreamer, I always have been. I see the world in total fantasy, no matter what it is, I always have like, a vision of what could be and how wonderful things are. And I see the world full of magic, even when there isn't any to really look at, I still manage to find it to see. It's honestly like my favorite thing about me. So yeah. Not to get too crazy deep bone here, but there you go. One of the best ways to get to know stuff about yourself is spending quality time with yourself. Pay attention to things you like, things that light you up. Make note of it. Yes, you already spend 24 hours a day with you, but like switching it from just being with yourself to like intentional time, like honestly take yourself on a date. Sometimes I literally go sit in restaurants alone and I pretend I'm in like a romantic comedy or something, some very important big drama. As you can tell, I'm like a very dramatic person, but I will literally go there and just kind of think about my day and think about my goals and dreams and like paying really good intentional attention to all the thoughts going on in your head. And there's actually a really good quote that I read once that um, basically said, you know, the most important relationship you'll ever have is the one with yourself because it lasts a lifetime. And it's true. It's the only one that will never stop. It's always been, and it will always continue to be. So you might as well gear up and enjoy it. As they say, to know you is to love you. So get to know you. Number three. This tip has honest to God changed my life. I actually read this on Tumblr once. Talk to yourself like you would a five-year-old. Coochie coochie goo. No, I'm kidding. That's not even how you talk to a five-year-old, is it? God, I don't know. Like kids are so quick to tell you exactly what they want, exactly what they're thinking at all times. The deeper idea of this is to really listen to your own thoughts and your own desires and what you want. But it also incites you to be kinder and softer and nicer with yourself. Basically the idea is, you know, would you talk to another person the way you're talking to yourself? Probably not. Tip number four is to separate your physical being from your emotional being. What are you talking about? Okay, let me explain. I read this whole long post on Tumblr once that basically was saying like, of course you're not gonna love every inch of your body. Like there's gonna be things about you that you just don't like because nobody's perfect. Honestly, my hands are like a little fat. I don't know, it just be like that sometimes. But that doesn't mean they're not amazing. My hands can make all sorts of amazing crafts and wonderful things. They're amazing treasures to me. That's kind of the way to look at your body. It's okay not to like everything, but you know, you learn to love it anyway. Nothing has to be perfect to be worthy of love. Write that down. On that same topic, remember you are 
art. The old art masters used to say that the female form is the greatest work of art on earth. And honestly, that is true. If there's any boys out there, honestly, men too. Y'all are art also. That's for another video, hello, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, be it whatever it is you believe in, you have been crafted to be exactly the way that you are. And that in and of itself is art and deserves to be respected and loved and treasured and cherished and, you know, appreciate it. You are art. Don't forget it. Plug to my jewelry line. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, there you go. Tip number six, no comparing. Loving yourself has nothing to do with him or her or her or her or her or him or anyone. It's all about you. Self-love is the one area of life where you get to be completely selfish because it really is all about you. Is Harry Styles beautiful? Yes. Is Rihanna beautiful? Yes. Is Harry Styles not beautiful because Rihanna's beautiful? No. Another little note I read on Tumblr once was that flowers are pretty, but so are Christmas lights and they look nothing alike. And that's how you should think of yourself and others. Do not compare yourself to other people because self-love is your journey and yours only. We're not the same, but equally fabulous. Tip number seven, it's okay to be selfish. Being selfish gets a bad rap because yes, actually being selfish and like, oh my God, I love myself. I'm the greatest person in the world. <laughs> no one likes that. But being self-aware and making decisions based on your wants and desires is very important to create a happy life for yourself. Me and my friends came up with this once, but it was basically the idea that you can't make any wrong decision if you make it out of love. Love for others or love for yourself. If all your friends are going to a party and you don't wanna go, don't go. Like the most iconic moment in television history when Samantha said this, I love you, but I love me more. You need to be happy to live a happy, wonderful, healthy life. It just means to choose yourself every time. Next tip, treat yourself. Treating yourself might be for only special occasions, but how you treat yourself is for every occasion. A huge part of self-love is self-care and taking care of yourself as you would someone you love. Buy the dress if you want it, eat the cake if you want. Literally, life should be fun and you don't need a special occasion to make yourself happy. So take time out of your day to do things that you enjoy. The whole world, all of its joys are for you. All the time, no occasions needed. Next tip, learn to forgive yourself. Holding a grudge is literally pointless, especially against yourself because literally what is the point of that? <laughs> Sometimes you just have to file stuff under dumb bitch decisions and move on. Sometimes you make bad decisions, it happens. Sometimes you make great decisions, that's better. Cancel culture is super toxic anyway, but you especially don't need it with yourself. Like forgive yourself, grow, learn. You don't just become who you are overnight. It's a process, it's a journey. Taylor Swift said this once and it always stuck with me. Step into the daylight and let it go. Bonus tip, focus on the intent of your energy. Any action or emotion, what is the intent of it? The idea of this is every action has a reaction. So what is the intent of your action? I'm gonna stand in front of the mirror and pick myself apart for 20 minutes. Why? So I feel worse about myself? Picking yourself apart just results in negative energy and negative self-worth. Telling yourself you're great just makes you feel better and walk through life with a little pep in your step. So I found for myself that focusing my energy and like paying attention to the intent of my actions makes it a lot easier for me to have positive life experiences with everything. The last note I have on self-love is that it is a journey and a decision, just like everything. It's a choice. You have to decide that you are going to love yourself. It's just as easy and just as hard as that. Like I said, love's an action word. You decide to love and then you act on it. So if you go through your life with love and affection towards yourself, eventually you are going to wake up and you're gonna feel it. In the meantime, fake it till you make it. Tell yourself you love yourself. You just might start to. One day you will wake up wildly in love with the woman you are and the woman you are becoming. It's a lifelong journey but it's worth it. When I started filming this video, I wasn't sure if I could honestly look at the camera and tell you that I love myself, but um, you know, I think I can confidently say that I do. And that's pretty cool. So this is your homework. Commit to making one decision based on being your own friend. It can be something small, like deciding to get pizza if you want pizza, but actively try to think about that. Next decision you make, whatever it is, be your own friend. Of course, if you guys wanna ask some questions, I will be doing the Angel Access live stream um, right here on YouTube. You guys can click the link to join that. And for now, I love you guys so very much. I will see you guys next week for whatever else we wanna talk about. I love you. Till next time, XO.
she's so cute even like that we still love her